In this video we show you a project of greening the desert curacao. According to succession agroforestry or syntropic agroforestry, nature moves in a cycle. And move, there's a succession going on from one ecosystem to the other ecosystem. So we separate like three basic ecosystems, the pioneering or colonizing uh, ecosystem, the system of accumulation and the system of abundance. And the system of the colonizing system is like when there's when the land is completely uh, depleted and there's entropy going on. And there will all be always be uh, pioneering plants that will try to bring fertility back. And as their role has been played out, then other uh, plants can take their place. They will be succeeded by plants that are more fit to grow in better circumstances. So in this case we took, we made use of the wabi tree, this acacia tertuosa, the pioneering tree that always pops up, you know, everywhere where the ground has been taken uh, apart, you know, where, the, where there's, everywhere you clear the land, they, these trees are immediately there to pop up to bring it back bringing back fertility and we wanted to see if we we could bring that next stage earlier you know if we could accelerate the the, the the transition of that stage of colonizing the colonizing stage to the stage of accumulation as soon as more uh, by energies have been accumulated which what's the meaning of synthropy more diversity more complex systems more more life, more, more, more photosynthesis is going on in the forest. So we want to accelerate that succession. As you see in the video, there's a huge difference in the, the way we started. We have only wabi trees without any having leaves. And this, uh, this accumulation of uh, biomass. We put in a lot of na napier grass, a lot of agave or uh, sisal. It will bring it, it will harvest water for us. A lot of uh, no pole we also planted, and then our trees. See that there's a complete different situation now. There's more diversity, there's accumulation of energy, accumulation of biomass going on, and the biomass equals water. It was our conviction that once the trees are being shaded out because they love the full spectrum of sunlight, they are emerging to our understanding then they will give up. And also, when there's too much energy accumulated, then, there's, then they're not fit for the circuses anymore. Because they love tough circuses, that's why they got thorns also. And this is exactly what, what is taking place right now. A key factor is pruning. Once we prune the uh, acacia trees, which we did heavily, they're, they're regrown again, but once we prune them, they start uh, putting uh, all the nitrogen into the soil and also they create a growth impulse for the others. The whole system creates a growth impulse and that's exactly what we see here. And of course all the pruned material we organize on the soil, so by increasing the mulch and by increasing biomass in the system, as you can see vividly in this video. So instead of uh, removing them, what people normally do, and that will create a stage of a colonizer situation again. We go backwards in time. Instead of accumulation, you will be losing energy. We, we, we make use of their energy collection, their energy accumulation, just intensifying it. We literally changed an enemy into a friend because the wabi trees are not popular because of their thorny character and everywhere the lens has been cleared, they pop up immediately as a pioneering tree.